Hey everyone, this is Jay here again with another unboxing. Today I'm going to show you again one of the new awesome models that were just released this weekend uh, for the Necron Army. The repackaged new plastic kits for the Necron Canatech Wraiths. Um, they now come in a really awesome plastic kit. It's here, it comes with uh, three wraiths, which a variety of positions and different heads and different guns. And it's really cool. And as I pointed out in my last one, if you can see here, the new paint range. So I have it on black, iron breaker, mood green, and on oil. So it looked like they actually took a lot of uh, paint colors to paint these guys. Either way, I'm definitely going to be making a tutorial for them in the near future. So expect one, and hopefully I, I do them justice. Um, first impressions, again, the box size is a little small. I figured that they might be a little bit larger. It's hard to place it based on, I think they have the medium base size, so I wasn't expecting anything close to like a, a Trigon or anything, but they look like they're pretty tall and uh, a lot larger than the old ones. So very, very cool stuff. So I'll just open up the box and show you guys the So first of all, obviously it comes with the three, uh, oh sorry, hmm, interesting, mine came with five bases, I don't know why it came with five bases, but that's uh, interesting, I was expecting only three, oh well, a couple extra bases never hurts. comes with the instruction booklet. You can see how to build them. Awesome stuff. Hmm. Very cool. Always need an instruction booklet with these multi-plastic pieces. It can get very confusing. So I'll zoom in here and show you guys. So it comes with three different sprues, as I was predicting. And each sprue basically consists of the various parts to build an entire wraith, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so each sprue could be its own wraith, uh, or you can mix and match the pieces up to you. So I'll just zoom in and show you the pieces. So as you can see here, just body, front uh, blades, Part of the arms. Here's the entire uh, the body and the head. Uh, the front. There's the front. Again, pieces of the body here. On both sides here are pieces of his tail. So it's kind of coiled like the the uh, Trigon kit. Um, his guns. Very cool stuff. Yeah, just different body pieces. More blades, these other arms. Yeah, I found that these these new uh, Wraith kits are look kind of like a cross between, I guess, the Matrix and the uh, the Trigon kits. Very similar pieces. They look like they almost have scything talents in a couple of areas. But that really futuristic uh, robot look that kind of reminds you of yeah, the, the last couple Matrix movies. Oh, very cool stuff. Zoom out here, so as you can see, just another uh, variety of pieces. It's the same pieces, actually in the same areas. Um, for this wraith, uh, just two different body pieces here and here. A different, sh completely different shaped tail. Uh, the gun's the same. These sighting talon blades look pretty much the same. These other blades. This body. Cool stuff. I'm pretty sure I, I didn't haven't had a chance to go through the the uh, how to build booklet, but uh, I'm pretty sure these pieces should be replaceable. That you can swap out, you know, this sprue's body for the other one, and so forth. They should be compatible that way. Excellent stuff. And the final sprue, as I mentioned. Is just more variants on the same theme, a completely different tail here and here. 
pieces of the body in the same spots, the setting talon blades things. Yep, the other part of the tail. Very cool stuff. Overall, I think these new plastic kits are really nice. The detail on them is excellent, which you can see. And I'm really looking forward to painting up uh, several of these for my Necron army. Uh, I think they're going to be really cool. And they're going to put some terror in my foes' eyes on the tabletop. So definitely stay tuned for an upcoming tutorial on these guys. I'll definitely make them soon. And maybe I've missed the reason, but I'm currently still curious why they gave me a bag with five bases. Because I only see three models. It's a couple too many bases. Ah, oh, whatever. I said a couple too extra bases never hurts. So until next time, this is Jay with another unboxing telling you guys, happy painting everyone.